Welcome to Jay's Retro Toys and Games for Monday, April 4, 2022. Episode 8 coming at you right now. And I told you we was coming back with a great toy that you wouldn't believe it. It actually started as a cartoon character used in greeting cards published by American Greetings. They're kind of like the competitor to Hallmark uh, cards, you know. And the line was later expanded to include dolls, posters, and other products featuring the character and an extended cast of friends and pets. And in addition, the franchise has spawned television specials, animated television series, and films. The franchise is currently owned by the Canadian children's television company Wild Brain and American brand management company Iconics Brand Group through the holding company Shortcake IP Holdings, LLC. Who we're talking about? We're honoring Strawberry Shortcake today on Jay's Retro Toys and Games. Alrighty, and we welcome you to the Monday edition of our show. As always, I'm your host, Jason DeCanio, hoping you had a great weekend. And let's look at uh, Strawberry Shortcake. You know, she, was a, she wasn't a doll as we always thought she was. I always thought she was a toy, just like every girl that owned a Strawberry Shortcake doll and friends. Um, but uh, history proves us differently, and we look at now the history of this doll that actually was a greeting card or a freelance, uh, um, you know, a character for a greeting card. So we're going to look at the history right here on today's show. So the character of Strawberry Shortcake was originally created by Barbie Sargent, who was then working as a freelance artist for American Greetings. The character first appeared on a Laurel Valentine's Day greeting card in 1972 to 1973. And at the time, the character was simply called Girl with a Daisy or Strawberry Girl and was depicted holding a daisy while wearing an orange bonnet with a strawberry print on it. Rex Connors, American Greetings staff art director, knew this card was very popular and determined that this was due to the strawberry motif. Now, he requested Barbie to create four cards <coughs> with a strawberryish outfit for the mega test market. The sergeant completed the assignment in early of July of 77, sending American Greetings four full-color leader cards depicting the Strawberry Shortcake character in full color. Leader cards are used by American Greetings for consumer test purposes. These tests mark the first time that the public saw Strawberry Shortcake in her new design, which received a positive reception. Then in the late 70s, further Strawberry Shortcake concept art was drawn by Mario Farron, Farion, and she's an illustrator working in American Greetings' juvenile and humorous card department. Now, Farion then designed a subsequent 32 characters for those characters from Cleveland, their American Greetings toy and licensing design division. Later characters that were added to the line were designed by Cindy Mayer Patton and Janet Jones. Artwork for the series was done by a number of different freelancers, and though the majority was painted by artist Francis Karatakis, Lynn Edwards served as the editor of the line, helping to develop the characters and the storyline. Now, the Strawberry Shortcake line of characters each had their own fruit or dessert theme named with clothing to match the fruit or dessert theme name, and they each had a dessert or fruit named pet. Now, like the Strawberry Shortcake doll, all the other characters' dolls had their had hair scented to match their dessert theme. The characters lived and played in a magical world known as Strawberry Land. Now, in 79, toy manufacturer Kenner Products licensed the character and released the first Strawberry Shortcake doll. At the time, Strawberry Shortcake resembled a typical rag doll complete with freckles, a mop of red yarn curls, and a bonnet with strawberry print on it. To reflect this, the toy was a rag doll designed by Muriel Farion and made by Susan Trentel, Farion's sister. 
During the 1980s, strawberry shortcake became popular with young girls throughout the United States. And at the time, there were many related products, such as sticker albums, clothing, bedding, and video game. There's a video game by Parker Brothers entitled Strawberry Shortcake Musical Matchups for the Atari 2600, etc. Now, several TV specials were made featuring the characters, one each year between 1980 and 1985, by which time the character's popularity had waned. So Kenner produced no new dolls or toys thereafter. Then in May of 1983, following a court case, copyrights to Strawberry Shortcake were granted to Barbie Sargent from American Greetings Corporation. Later on, Barbie returned the copyrights to American Greetings so that they could continue with the success of the Strawberry Shortcake franchise. American Greetings manufactured Strawberry Shortcake Christmas ornaments, which are included in the Clara Johnson Scroggins Collection, one of the world's largest ornaments collections. And in 91, THQ tried reviving the franchise by producing an updated line of Strawberry Shortcake dolls. Strawberry and five of her classic friends each got a makeover with new clothes, hair, and eyes. However, the line saw only modest success and lasted just a year. Then in 2002, the franchise was revived again, this time with a revamped look by a different designer. Many strong licensing deals were made, and a television series with new home video releases was produced. Soundtracks for the episodes were also released. Uh, Bandai, along with Kelly Toy, was granted the manufacturing rights of the Strawberry Shortcake dolls and toys. For the first time in almost two decades, new video games were launched, produced by the Game Factory for Nintendo's Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS. Educational CD-ROMs for the PC were also produced. And then in 2006, Playmates Toys picked up the rights to manufacture and sell Strawberry Shortcake figurines. The line they produced was named A World of Friends. A full-length feature film, Strawberry Shortcake, The Sweet Dreams Movie, premiered in 2006 and was released on DVD in February of 2007. Playmates Toys lost the manufacturing rights to Hasbro, which began releasing new Strawberry Shortcake-themed toys beginning in the fall of 2009 after American Greetings rebooted the franchise. Hasbro lost the manufacturing rights to the Bridge Direct in early of 2014. Then in 2015, Iconics Brand Group acquired the rights to Strawberry Shortcake from American Greetings for $105 million. Then May of 2017, DXH Media announced that it would acquire Iconics Entertainment brands, including Strawberry Shortcake and majority ownership of Peanuts for $345 million. It was finalized on June 30th of 2017. So in the 80s, they had these character toys, the Berry Bake Shop, the Snail Cart with Escargot the Snail, the Carousel, a berry-shaped carry case, Flitter Bit the Butterfly, Garden House, which was a gazebo, Big Berry Trolley, Berry Merry Worm, which is Filbert Wormley III, Berry Happy Home, Maple Stirrup, and the Oatsmobile, Blow Kiss Baby Doll. And then, if you wanted to look at the specials, they premiered from 1980 through 85, featuring Strawberry Shortcake. They were produced annually. The 1980 and 82 specials were animated by Murakami Wolf Swenson and Toy Animation, while the 83, 84, and 85 specials were animated by Nelvana. And the 81 special was a unique case, animated by Perpetual Motion Pictures of New York. Then they got the relaunch and the characters with their pets and homes. The major revamping took place at the characters' relaunch. Both Pup Cake and Custard now belong to Strawberry Shortcake. In Pup Cake's place, a new pet, Shoe Fly Frog, was introduced as Huckleberry Pie's pet, and Apple Dumplin' was relaunched as Strawberry Shortcake's sister. Also, Strawberry Land is now divided into districts like Cakewalk, Orange Blossom Acres, and Huckleberry Briar, and Cookie Corners. They had some fillies. Um, they, this was the 2003 revival of the franchise that introduced fillies to the franchise. Each of the fillies are tied to a, down to a character. 
With mainly Philly, you got Honey Pie Pony being the only one able to talk and have a pet. However, when Playmates took over the doll's rights from Bandai, they decided to scrape, scrap the existing Phillies and introduce new ones. However, the removal has not spread beyond the scope of the toy line. Then in the series, there was a shortcake TV series. They were given a huge relaunch by Dick Entertainment, that's D-I-C Entertainment, and with it, a direct-to-video TV series was produced, 19 years after the last special. The series reflected the changes in the direction of the franchise and has the primary focus on being an educational program. 44 episodes were produced, including four 45-minute specials, and 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment released the series worldwide on VHS and DVD. There was a 2006 film, in October, the first Strawberry Shortcake film, The Sweet Dreams Movie, was released in select cities by Kid Toon Films. The series villains, the Purple Pie Man and Sour Grapes, who were notably absent from the TV series, are reintroduced in the movie. However, Sour Grapes is reintroduced as Purple Pie Man's sister in materials related to The Sweet Dreams Movie. The movie was released on DVD on February 6, 2007, and has also been aired on networks and released on DVD and video CDs worldwide. They had a relaunch in 2009 and 2010. 2008 American Greetings announced that Hasbro had won the license from Playmates, and with it, they would relaunch the series again. The extensive relaunch involved numerous large redesigns and a reboot of the franchise universe. The relaunch began in summer of 2009 with the release of a CGI movie, The Sky's the Limit, with Anna Cummer, voicing Strawberry Shortcake, and a TV series, Strawberry Shortcake's Berry, Bitter Adven Berry Bitty Adventures, debuted on October 10th of 2010 on Discovery Family. 65 episodes were produced. Then the merchandise and the relaunch began appearing in mid-2009. In 2016, IDW Publishing began releasing an ongoing Strawberry Shortcake comic series written by George Ball with art by Amy Meberson. Both Ball and Memerson identified as fans of the 1980s series, with Ball drawing inspiration from girls with doubts and challenges, but their friends back them up and support them. The main characters of the show are Strawberry Shortcake, Lemon Meringue, Orange Blossom, Raspberry Tort, Plum Pudding, Blueberry Muffin, Cherry Jam, and a new character made for the series is introduced in the second season. Huckleberry Pie was reintroduced in the third season, as a recurring character, while Sweet and Sour Grapes, that's no relation to the villainous character, debuted in Series 4 along with the return of Apple Dumplin'. Now, at the New York Toy Fair in 2014, it was learned that the toy-making license for Strawberry Shortcake had passed from Hasbro to a company called The Bridge Direct, and the makers of Pinky Cooper and the Jet Set Pet Dolls. The product shown appeared to retain the designs of the 2009 Strawberry Shortcake relaunch and included several series of dolls featuring pets, doll furniture, and musical instruments. Then there was a 2018 web series. In May of 2018, DHX Media and its subsidiary, Wild Brain, debuted a new 2D animated series of Strawberry Shortcake on YouTube and YouTube TV produced by Wild Brain Studios. The series features the return of Raisin Kane and the Purple Pie Man to the series. The cast for the series features Allison Lee Rosenfeld as Strawberry Shortcake, Amanda Barker as Orange Blossom, Dylan Jones as the Purple Pie Man, Kaylin Lee Clinton as Raisin Kane, and Lori Himes as Sour Grapes. Now, in May of 2016, the Iconics Brand Group and DXH Media disclosed that the development of a fifth version is in the works after the franchise's acquisition in 2016. The series was scheduled for three seasons, totaling 39 episodes, although no cast, crew, and release date were announced and would have used 3D computer animation similar to the 2009 series. Well, this was later retooled, and on September 9th of the last year, Wild Brain announced a newly fresh strawberry shortcake with a new look and redesigns for the characters. A 2D animated web series from Wild Brain Spark Studios titled Strawberry Shortcake, Berry in the Big City began airing on YouTube in September 18th of last year with 40 episodes planned for the first season with a second already in development. 
a series of CGI animated 45 minute specials produced by Wild Brain Studios are also currently in development, which would which will be produced for a major streaming platform. The relaunch would also coincide with a Roblox sub game that was released on October 2nd, 2021, alongside a new toy range from Moose Toys. Then in November of 2021, it was announced Strawberry Shortcake, Burying the Big City, will be released on Netflix in spring of this year, and the CGI specials will also be released on the platform in 2023. The central cast of this incarnation features Strawberry Shortcake, Custard, Orange Blossom, Lemon Meringue, Blueberry Muffin, and returning character, Lemon Chiffon. Then, of course, you've got your media. You have your soundtracks and the video games, which we talked about. There was a controversy with Penny Arcade in 2003. Then there was the Cookie Jars lawsuit, which really we don't like to talk about lawsuits and all that because we don't want to say anything bad about the toy. So we try to stay away from anything that has to do with law, controversies or lawsuits. But if you'd like to read further information, of course, you know the link is here in the Wikipedia, and we will give that to you. And I think that's a great little history about Strawberry Shortcake. I was surprised when I was looking at this iconic toy that wasn't really a toy to begin with. It was more of a character, a cartoon character. She's always been, but she wasn't a toy until 1977. But all that time... She had holdings in American greeting cards. Life is delicious, as Strawberry Shortcake says. And that is the end of our show. Thank you very much for joining me today on this edition of Jay's Retro Toys and Games. I'll see you on Wednesday where we're going to be talking about a toy. Well, you know, this toy has a lot of ball bearing on the guys. You know, I think every um, male kid played with this kind of toy and we'll talk about it because right now you know i know we're in the ukraine war and everything but we need something that's got a real american hero to it what am i talking about gi joe episode nine this wednesday coming up we'll see you then i'm jason decanio have a great night bye bye <laughs>
Don't forget to subscribe to the Gamer Thousand Network for great more content like this one.